Okay guys, I'm back. Um, this was the Raspberry Tea Collection I was showing you and now we're moving on to the Watercolor Rainbow and by Prima and this is my absolute favorite. This just like makes me tingle all over when I, when I see this paper. I love it, love it. I just, I get so happy when I see it. I just can't even explain. I just want to touch it and smell it and I don't know. I just love this paper. This is one of my just favorites of all times, I think. I don't know why. It just, you know, it reminds me of, like, alcohol inks and stuff and the way it's, like, all swirled together. And it's, like, watercolor, I guess, you know. And I love watercolor uh, paint, so I guess that's why. I love the way things flow together and just the translucency of it and all. And, and that's, you know, they really did a good job showing that, you know. It's like you got all this paint, like, flowing together and then you can, like, see through the paint. And they've got a script underneath, so just really love it. It's just beautiful. So here, this says because, and it's got reasons, like you could say because, and you could put somebody's name, and like, it says 1 through 10, and you can like, there's lines for journaling, so you can like write some reasons here. This would be nice to do a 12 by 12 layout, um, you know, not that I do many of those, but that would be good for one. I love this paper. God, it is so soft. It almost looks like vellum when you're looking at it because it's so soft. Oh, I love it. There's this one. Love that. This one and this one. But see, the papers that make me love this collection is not really like those journaling ones and stuff. It's these really like soft watercolory looking things that I was talking about. These three papers here, they just make me so happy. Look at that. I love this. Love it. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so let me quit going on and on about watercolor paper. Because I could go on and on about it, and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, here is some more paper. Um, why is my phone so loud? Um, sorry, y'all. Okay, this is more um, Prima paper. Um, Flights of Fancy collection. Okay. So there's that paper, and we've seen this a million times. I'm sure I've showed this to you already a thousand times over because I already have this, and I have a lot of it because I love this. This is my second favorite after those watercolor papers. Love Flights of Fancy. So pretty. Okay. This is the Strawberry Kisses. Okay. So I'm kind of showing you... Um, like papers over and over. It's a little redundant and I apologize. But I just don't want to miss anything that maybe I haven't shown you. So, I don't, and I don't know what's in here. I'm looking at it for the first time with you guys. So, more strawberry kisses and the pastiche. Beautiful paper. I just mailed out um, some pastiche kits not long ago. Actually, today. <laughs> Watercolor and raspberry tea and raspberry tea. Okay, and here is, I guess this is Flights of Fancy, so maybe this is just the entire Flights of Fancy collection here. Let me run through this fast, because I know you've seen it. Okay, and next, this is the... I think this is pastiche. No, this is shabby chic. My bad. Shabby chic. Okay. Shabby chic for y'all. Here we go. I like that. And I like this too. <laughs> Boy, I just like all the Prima papers this year. They're all so beautiful. They really did a good job with their collections um, this year, Prima. They um, certainly made me happy. And I love this. This is too cute. This is adorable, you guys. This is the Umbrella Collection, and it's probably not that popular, you know, at least on on YouTube within this circle um, of many album-making girls because um, everybody's so into more of the vintage looks and stuff like that. But, but this is really cute. Um, adorable for um, a kid's mini um, about, you know, a child. So I love it. 
and got the little alligators. And this is the umbrella collection. And look at the little umbrellas with all the little, it's got like little frog head and ladybug. <laughs> it's too cute. Love it. Look how beautiful that is. The butterflies. Flowers. Super adorable. Check that out. Water fun. <laughs> how cute is this? Love it. Look at the little um, rain slickers and umbrellas and, and galoshes, little rain boots. That's so cute. I can't wait to use this to make a, a mini about my kids when they were little. Because they're getting old now. Well, my oldest one, he's going to be a teenager. And my youngest one, he because he has an older brother, he, he thinks he's a teenager too. So, anyway... Girls, that is my haul that I've been waiting for two months for, but I'm super happy to have. And um, if you want an update on the um, Summer Thompson Memorial Album Projects, um, my blog is up to it. Ugh, it is up to date. I posted on the blog this morning or this afternoon uh, all the pages that I received from everybody. Um, I'm starting to bind albums. Um, when I get them all bound up, I'm going to put out videos and put pictures on my blog. And when I um, meet with Dina, I will either um, do a video with her um, or I will... I don't know how she's going to be, so I'll, like I said before, I'm play that by ear. Um, if I don't do a video um, response from her then, um, because maybe I don't feel like it's the right time for her then I will, um, you know, wait for her to respond, like, you know, to give a thank you letter or something, which I'm sure, pretty sure she would do, and read to you guys, um, so, um, uh, playing that in my ear, um, I'm hoping to get everything bound and taken care of, and, and to Dina before April 5th, which is Summer's birthday, um, there is a fundraiser this weekend for the Summer Thompson Foundation, uh, it's going to be at the Jacksonville Landing this weekend, I think it's the 27th, um, which I believe is Saturday, and I plan on attending. Um, it's to raise money. There's going to be several bands, um, including Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, because they're from Orange Park, Florida here, and uh, Molly Hatchet, which is a old um, rock band. And uh, Bobby Ingram from Molly Hatchet, he's played an, an integral part in um, fundraising for the family, um, because, of course, Dina is not working and, um, you know, is, is taking this time to to grieve over her loss and spend time with her other children and uh, you know that the community's raised a lot of money to, to have to help her to be able to stay home and there's also a $65,000 reward um, for anybody who leads um, to the arrest giving information to lead to the arrest of the person um, who did this horrible thing to, to this little baby and uh, anyway so I plan on attending the uh, the um, Summer, they're calling it Summerfest, um, and Abigail, Summer's uh, older sister, she's only in the fifth grade, she's going to be singing You Are My Sunshine um, for everybody, and that she's going to sing like the first um, verse, and then she sings a new song that she and Bobby Ingram from Molly Hatchet have, have uh, put together, and uh, I'm going to try to get some video of that and some uh, other video clips of the Summerfest this weekend and um, Dina will address the crowd and stuff so I'm going to get some uh, video of Summer, or uh, excuse me, pardon me, of Dina and uh, I'm going to put it up on my uh, YouTube channel so uh, check it out um, by Sunday night. I should have that up and uh, thank you everybody for um, contributing and for making this happen. You guys are all angels and I just um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys are amazing and without you this wouldn't have happened or been possible to have um, um, this project so large and just amazing and, and um, I'm really just um, totally just proud to be part of the Scrapple King community. Um, you girls are a wonderful group of women and um, I'm just um, really thankful and very grateful for all of you. So thank you, and um, I will see you at the next video, and uh, take care. Everybody have a good weekend if I don't see you before then. Bye-bye.